It is a wise king who brings a trashing wheel over the wicked. So says the Lord. And when the people lose their faith, he will place a headmaster over them. You should probably call that individual a dictator. But a dictator is someone that knows law, not their law. The serpent's tongue, their law. Not interested in that, really. So what you have is, come out of who? The men in Babylon became women. So the Lord says, come out of Babylon. Come out of who? The harlot, the devourer. So, serpent's tongue, passive aggressive. I was talking to a military, a militian man, a soldier. And the soldier says, there's more people joining OIS than there is joining the British Army and you can't even train them properly anymore because of this political correctness. He says, a few years ago when I was training soldiers, I wouldn't put a gun in these, man's, these people's hands. So they're sending boys to do a man's job because they're not rewarding the British soldiers. So that says somewhere in this country, someone is trying to undermine the authority of the great Commonwealth and the militians and the teachings of Christ and Christendom by putting serpent, passive aggressive bitches all over the place to usurp the authority of a man. A man doesn't talk like a bitch, a man talks like a man. A woman talks like a bitch. Yeah? Come out of who? Come out of Babylon. So if you see a man and he's talking passive aggressively with a serpent tongue and he's he's a bitch. He's in Babylon. Pay him no attention. Send him you know what I mean? Talk to the women. If a woman talks like a woman, a man talks like a man, that's because she has a vagina and you have a penis. And if these people think they haven't got vagina they think they have vaginas, why don't you grab them and cut their balls and their cock off? See if, see if they feel it. Then they know if they're a man or a woman. Remind them just before they meet their mega what their agenda was. It's not really their fault a lot of them because there's um, lots of fluoride in the water, lots of oestrogen in the water. It makes you gay a bit. But you can always choose to be celibate. Or if they can be smart asses and choose for you, look what happens to me. I can't get a look in with a board because the language they speak these days is not the language of my fathers. And since I hack into the old ways and read the laws of my <laughs> law of my fathers, I don't speak the same language as these little freaks, so I had to teach them. <laughs> I think I want to become a teacher. Maybe even a head teacher. Maybe something like King Callahan or Byron, Hebrew or Cromwell or the great King James even. I'm ambitious. They can't take that away from me. I'm faithful.